The next course in our semester 2 is called Deep Learning. In this course, first we will start with learning TensorFlow and Keras. We will focus mostly on TensorFlow 2.0, which is the most recent version of TensorFlow. Again, understanding TensorFlow will give us lot of programmatic flexibility in implementing lot of deep learning techniques that we will learn as part of this course itself. Okay, cool. Then we will also understand how GPU programming, how to use GPUs, the graphic processing units for deep learning. This will give you a better understanding on how TensorFlow is designed internally. That's very important to understand, right? So this will introduce you to the basics of parallel programming using GPUs and how TensorFlow internally uses the GPU for training deep learning models. Cool. Then we will touch upon convolutional neural networks and computer vision. Again, CNNs are the most popular techniques used for computer vision nowadays, right? So we will start with basic, basic techniques, basic CNN techniques like AlexNet and study up to state of the art, very cutting edge techniques. We will study all the major network architectures, including residual networks. Similarly, we will learn specialized CNNs for image segmentation tasks. Similarly, for object recognition tasks. And for all of these, we will try, we'll start with simpler techniques, but we will also try and cover some of the state of the art techniques which are cutting edge and bleeding edge. Right? Again, this is very, very important if you are looking for careers in computer vision. Having said that, the next topic would be recurrent neural networks. Again, when we study RNNs, we will start with basic LSTMs and GRUs. We will also learn how LSTMs and GRUs can be used for time series analysis because that's where they are very popularly used. We will also study variations of LSTMs, whether it's bidirectional LSTMs or bidirectional LSTM with attention and things like that. Again, when we are covering LSTMs and GRUs, we will also see how these techniques are very popular for natural language processing and text processing problems. Okay, the most important class of techniques in this course would be transformers. This is literally the cutting edge of research in the last few years. We will start with the basics of attention mechanism. Then we will learn multiple, multiple transformer based architectures. We will, we will learn BERT, we will learn GPT-1, GPT-2, GPT-3 based models. Again, we'll try and cover the state of the art in transformers as of this course, right? So this course is in semester two. So whatever is state of the art for transformers, we will cover all of them. And transformers and transformer based models are most widely used in natural language processing. So we will take up a lot of natural language processing and text processing problems, and we will solve them using transformers because that's what most companies actually do nowadays, right? So if you have to solve a real world NLP problem, transformers are the de facto and the default thing that a lot of companies and a lot of Practitioners are actually using nowadays. Similarly, if you're solving a problem in computer vision, people go to CNNs, right? So that's why we will cover them in the context of what is available in the cutting edge today. Okay, cool. Now, of course, there are also a miscellaneous bunch of topics like generative models like GANs and autoencoders, which can be used for feature engineering. Similarly, GANs can be used for image generation. We will also touch upon some of these concepts. Now, as far as code is concerned, we will try and implement multiple techniques, multiple algorithms, including slightly complex algorithms like transformers. We will implement them from scratch. So again, we will use TensorFlow. We will not do it just using Python. We will, we will write the whole architecture itself using TensorFlow 2.0 and understand the nitty gritty details, right? That's very, very important. We will also touch upon TensorFlow Lite so that some of the deep learning models that you train can be used for IoT applications and web-based deep learning applications. We will touch upon TensorFlow Lite. Again, for some, for some class of techniques, right? For example, if you're looking at, let's say, BERT or GPT-based models, wherever there is open source research code available, we will cover that code also. Most of this code is either written in TensorFlow or PyTorch. We will also provide you basic introduction to PyTorch so that you can choose to use either TensorFlow or PyTorch, whichever you're comfortable with. But we will focus more on TensorFlow because it, 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 is, it, is, it is superb for productionization. Again, there are also a lot of companies that are using PyTorch nowadays. But we, we will we'll try and cover both of them, TensorFlow slightly into more detail. Okay. Throughout this course itself, we will touch upon multiple case studies. For each class of models that we study, we will have at least two or three case studies so that you understand how all the mathematics and code and the techniques that you're learning can be applied to solve real world problem. 
will solve a lot of exciting real world problems both in comp computer vision and NLP throughout this course itself.